This is not a rehearsal. This is war. Prince Harry taking on the Taliban and coming under fire. His deployment a highly guarded secret and a fact that amuses him considerably. No one really knows where I am,、um, and I prefer to keep it that way. For the meantime, until I get back in one piece, and I can tell them where I was.、Um, at the moment, I think they think that I'm tucked away, wrapped up in cotton wool. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth. Harry was secretly deployed to Afghanistan, where he's been serving as a battlefield air controller in the southernmost outpost of Helmand Province. His role as Joint Terminal Air Attacker or JTAC has been strategically vital in saving the lives of troops, providing air cover for them as they came under fire from the Taliban, calling in air strikes and preventing friendly fire incidents. If any any of the guys at all, Gurkhas, you know, any of the old Brit soldiers, anybody. Anywhere in Afghanistan, if they're under contact and there's a JTAC there, I think any JTAC would say that they'll do their utmost best to make sure that those guys and every single one of them gets out in one piece. The prince has never made a secret of his desire to be in active service. It's what he's been trained for. But being ordered forward to the front line of a war zone to serve alongside Gurkhas so soon after arriving in Helmand was more than he ever imagined. I think there's a few people who think who didn't want me to come down here, maybe possibly,、um, but. As far as the commanding officer is concerned, I'm a JTAC. I'm a qualified JTAC, and therefore、um, there are people who who need air、um, to cover the troops. Quite soon after his arrival, Harry was calling in his first ever bomb drop when his unit carried out an airstrike. The chief of the general staff, the head of the British Army, Sir Richard Dannett, says Prince Harry's conduct on operations in Afghanistan has been exemplary.